I'm Chef Ryan Covert and welcome to KTA Kitchens. Today I'm going to show you a crowd-pleasing appetizer, a Kona Coffee Rub Lamb Slider. Let's get started with the ingredients. The ingredients for today for the lamb sliders are one pound of ground lamb. If you don't like lamb, you can substitute this with ground beef or ground pork. We have eight ounce pack of button mushrooms. The stems have been removed and minced. One third cup of onion. We have two cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of ginger, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, three tablespoons of cilantro, two teaspoons of chili sauce. Then we have our buns, red onion and sliced tomatoes and arugula. Now it's time to assemble the lamb slider. So we're gonna add all the ingredients into the bowl. We add the mushrooms, the onions, ginger, garlic, cilantro, the oyster sauce, and sriracha sauce. If you don't like spice, you can leave the sriracha sauce out. And we're gonna use our hands with this. Just gently fold the, the ingredients together. You don't wanna over mix it because it tends to become dense. Now once it's mixed all together, we're gonna to form these into 12 small little sliders. We divided the sliders into 12 portions, about an ounce and a half to two ounces. It's a little bit bigger than a golf ball. What we're gonna do now is just kind of flatten it out into sliders. You wanna make it a little bit bigger than the bun because it's gonna shrink when you cook it. And we'll just flat all 12 of them. You can really see the mushrooms in here, the cilantro, you can smell the garlic and the ginger. So after we, we flatten these all out, we're gonna stick them into the refrigerator and they're gonna work on our spice blend. Now it's time to make the Kona coffee rub. The ingredients for this are one half teaspoons of ground cumin, one half teaspoons of coriander seeds, one half teaspoons of cardamom seed, one half teaspoons of fennel seeds, one half teaspoons of mustard seeds, one tablespoon of 100% Kona coffee whole beans, one half teaspoon of garlic salt, and a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. To get the most flavor out of this rub, I highly recommend to toast your seeds. To do this, it's real simple. Let me show you. So we have a hot pan, it's over medium heat, and we're just gonna add our seeds to it and toast them. This brings out the natural oils of the seeds and releases the flavor. You're just gonna cook this for about a minute or two minutes until the seeds start to pop. You can start smelling the aromas already coming out. Give it a shake here and there to turn the seeds over. Oh, that smells fantastic. You can see the seeds starting to pop, so this is time to take it off the heat. The seeds are done toasting and it's time to add them to the grinder. Um, I like to have a separate grinder for my spices only. Um, if you add it with your coffee, it kind of overwhelms the spices. So let's add the spice to the coffee grinder, along with our other ingredients, the coffee, ground cumin, pepper, and the garlic salt. And we're just gonna blend this for about, about a minute or so. One more time. You can really smell all the spices in here. It smells fantastic. Mm. Next step is to season the lamb sliders. So just pour your, your rub into a bowl and just season on each side generously. Geez, you can just smell the, the coffee, you can smell the spices, it's just great. I have a griddle here, it's on high heat. If you don't have a griddle, you can cook this on your barbecue or in a pan. Just make sure it's really hot. You're gonna cook this for about two to three minutes on each side. 
into your desired temperature. The burgers have been cooking for about three minutes. And if you notice around the edge of the burgers, it starts to turn brown and they're cooking. That's when it's time to flip. But it's, of course, it's up to your preference. I like mine medium, so it's time to flip. You can see the dark color of, from the Kona coffee rub. The burgers are done cooking, so now it's time to assemble the burgers. What we're gonna do is take our rolls, lay them out, and you're gonna place a burger on top of the bottom of the bun, along with some tomatoes. and some onion. You can use as little or as much as you want. And then finally the arugula. These smell great, geez, can't wait to eat them. And I like to use a, a, a skewer to hold these all into place. So just add your top of the bun, put your skewer down. So time for the best part is to give it a try. Can't wait. Oh, it's so juicy. Mm. Mm. You can really taste the Kona coffee come through in the lamb. It's a great slider. You're really gonna enjoy it. I recommend pairing this with a beer. Oh, nice and refreshing. I'm Chef Ryan Covert, and thank you for joining me in KTA Kitchens. Until next time, aloha.